If you like your shooters kept simple, ones that don't require any extra brain cells, but are still nonetheless fun to play, then you might want to check out Sega's The Club. This game offers up old school run and gun gameplay, but with a twist. It's not merely kill or be killed to proceed to the next level. You need to do so with skill and accuracy because doing so ups your point total. And that's what sets this shooter apart from others in the genre. And seeing as how this game was developed by Bizarre Creations, the same folks that brought you the Project Gotham racing series, it shouldn't come as a surprise. There is a plot to the game, albeit a simple one. The club is an elite group of powerful, filthy rich people who essentially run and host their own hunt or be hunted style game. You've seen this premise before in watching flicks like Arnold in Running Man. As a contestant forced to play in this competition, it is your goal to win events in each of the several locations. You'll start off with six playable characters, each with their own distinctive look and attributes. But honestly, playing each of them never felt very distinguishable. Like the PGR series, you're awarded points for kills. Extra points are there for accuracy, the type of weapon you use, and the difficulty of enemies, and the style in which you eliminate them. The game even has its own type of kudos system where your multiplier increases as long as you are killing. If you wait too long before your next kill, your multiplier drops back down. Here's the rub though, the higher your multiplier, the faster it starts to fade away. So you'll find yourself in a frantic rush against the clock to rack up the points. It really adds a layer of urgency and fun to the gameplay. There are five different event types, most of them which involve either a beat the clock or running and gunning style of play, all while trying to rack up as many points as possible. My favorites, Survivor and Siege, however, force you to stay in a confined area and fend off oncoming enemies until the clock runs out. The environments and locales are done rather well and offer up enough destruction and explosions to add to the chaos. One major gripe with the game, though, is not being able to take cover and shoot out from behind it. It's almost a prerequisite now for any next-gen shooter to allow for this. On the other hand, this could be very intentional by the developers to force you into running and gunning and not staying in one place for too long but this could have also been accomplished by destructible cover spots. The game's focus is clearly on single player with never ending replayability trying to up your high score. There is a multiplayer mode which plays very much like a simpler form of Team Fortress. It's kind of fun for a while, but the levels feel way too big for the amount of players in a session. The game's graphics are on par for the expectation level of this generation of gamers, and the game's frame rate never drops. All in all, the club does a great job of offering up a quick fix for shooter fans, and with the constant challenge of thinking you can beat your last score, the game offers up endless replay time. The club is out now, it's rated for mature audiences, and Texas Gamer gives it a 3 out of 5. For Texas Gamer, I'm Mark Adams. Multi -kill.